For Loom Tools 2018.3 and the latest in 2017 and 2016 generations, we've added ISO line and spatial map capability to the calculation viewer. These are vivid graphical representations of lighting density and will seriously help you evaluate your lighting calculations. The viewer looks a little bit differently now. All of the pseudocolor settings are now aligned here. Select luminance or illuminance and set your ceiling values as usual. This makes room for our new contours button. Just click on it to place intelligent ISO lines in the view. Access the settings area to make adjustments. You can select different intelligent color schemes. Add additional contours. Let's add a 25 foot candle contour. Notice a Loom Tools intelligently places it in the middle of the color mix according to its place in the illuminance values. Here's the 25 foot candle line. You can adjust the labels a little more dense, a little less dense, and you can change the size. Let's shrink them down a little bit. This gives you a substantial amount of control over the way the view appears. Spatial maps are semi-transparent shaded representations of the same gradient used by ISO lines. Let's turn the ISO lines off. Turn the spatial maps on. You can enable them directly from the menu. Show spatial maps. Or from within the settings dialog. You can adjust the transparency of the spatial maps if you like. Spatial maps can be shown together with ISO lines by simply selecting them both. These features can also look tremendous on an exterior view. Switch them on and off by simply clicking the Contours button. You can also show the spatial maps in your Revit views. Just click the View Hide Results button. Make sure spatial maps are enabled. However, you cannot individually scale the different calculation planes. All calculations visible in the view must have the same scale. This is determined by the absolute maximum value of illuminance for all the calculations. This is a little inconvenient, but it is a restriction of the Autodesk Analysis Visualization Framework we use to display data in Revit. It does, however, align all of your maps to the same criteria to allow you to easily spot differences in illumination requirements or possible over slash under lighting scenarios. With respect to ISO lines in the Revit view, this graphic display style is not supported by the AVF, unfortunately. However, the ranges display in the AVF does make the spatial maps more definitive and closer to the boundaries seen with ISO lines. Select the default analysis display style from the properties area. Click the color tab. And select ranges. It's not as pretty, but perhaps it's a decent substitute for ISO lines. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll enjoy these new additions to Illum Tools.